Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. The reading for today, titled God's Justice and Grace, was written by Matt Lucas. English Romantic painter John Martin is known for his apocalyptic landscapes depicting the destruction of civilizations. In these fantastic scenes, humans are overwhelmed by the magnitude of the destruction and powerless against the approaching doom. One painting, The Fall of Nineveh, depicts people fleeing the coming destruction of mounting waves under dark rolling clouds. More than 2,000 years before Martin's painting, the prophet Nahum prophesied against Nineveh for telling its judgment. The prophet used images of mountains quaking, hills melting, and the earth trembling to symbolize God's wrath on those who had oppressed others for their own gain. However, God's response to sin is not without grace. While Nahum reminds his listeners of God's power, he notes that he is slow to anger and cares for those who trust in him. Descriptions of judgment are hard to read, but a world where evil isn't confronted would be a terrible one. Thankfully, the prophet doesn't end on that note. He reminds us that God desires a good and just world, saying in Nahum chapter 1, Look, there on the mountains, the feet of one who brings good news, who proclaims peace. That good news is Jesus, who suffered the consequences of sin so we can have peace with God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Nahum chapter 1, verses 1 through 8, and verse 15. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord takes vengeance and is filled with wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his foes and vents his wrath against his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger, but great in power. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. His way is in the whirlwind and the storm, and clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and dries it up. He makes all the rivers run dry. Bashan and Carmel wither, and the blossoms of Lebanon fade. The mountains quake before him, and the hills melt away. The earth trembles at his presence, the world and all who live in it. Who can withstand his indignation? Who can endure his fierce anger? His wrath is poured out like fire. The rocks are shattered before him. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him, but with an overwhelming flood, he will make an end of Nineveh. He will pursue his foes into the realm of darkness. Now, picking up in verse 15. Look, there on the mountains, the feet of one who brings good news, who proclaims peace. Celebrate your festivals, Judah, and fulfill your vows. No more will the wicked invade you. They will be completely destroyed. Now let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your grace and mercy and that in placing our faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, we do not have to fear judgment. Would you please fill us with love for our fellow man and grant us the courage to share this precious gift with others. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.